find the square root of 6 to find the square root by long division method for that first we should frame it in this way c that is 6 okay next now here we have 6 6 is not a perfect square so now we should check between which two perfect square numbers does 6 lie perfect square numbers are these that is 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 4 into 4 16 and so on these numbers are called perfect square numbers here we have 6 6 lies between these two numbers so we should take the smaller number that is 4 4 is for 2 2 is 4 so we take 2 here 2 here and 4 so now you subtract 6 minus 4 is 2 now here you should add these two numbers and write here so 2 plus 2 is 4 now I should write a number here but when I write the number then this number will be smaller than this so in normal division what we used to do we used to put a decimal and take one zero here but here we should take two zeros while finding the square root we should take two zeros not one remember that next now here I should write a number condition is whatever number I write here here also I should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this number okay so let us find the number here if I take 2 I should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 fours 8 84 is far from 200 so we take 4 so 44 into 4 4 into 4 16 6 1 4 into 4 16 plus 1 17 so 176 is close to 200 if I take 5 that number will exceed 200 so we take 4 4 4 176 here now you subtract so 1 9 10 10 minus 6 4 9 minus 7 2 1 minus 1 0 and here we should add these two numbers and write here so 44 plus 4 is 48 now I should write a number here but when I write the number here then this number will become smaller than this decimal we already have taken so directly you take two zeros while finding the square root we take two zeros now here I should write a number condition is whatever number I write here here also I should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but should not be larger than this number okay so let us find the number here so if I take 2 that is 482 into 2 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 8, 16, 6, 1, 2, 4, 8 plus 1, 9. So this is far from 2400. 
so we take 5 so 485 into 5 5 5 is 25 5 2 5 8 is 40 plus 2 42 so 2 4 5 4 is 20 plus 4 24 this is exceeding it so we should take 4 into 4 see man these two should be same so 4 into 4 16 6 1 4 8 32 plus 1 33 3 3 4 4 16 plus 3 19 so now we take 4 so 4 here 4 here and here 1 9 3 6 understood when we took 5 this is larger than this so we should take smaller number so we had taken 4 okay next now you subtract so here 3 9 10 10 minus 6 4 9 minus 3 6 so here 1 13 13 minus 9 4 here you add these two numbers and write here 484 plus 4 is 488. Now I should write a number here. When I write the number then this number will be smaller than this. We already had taken decimal. So you directly take two zeros. Now I should write a number here. Condition is whatever number I write here, here also I should write the same number. And also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this number so let us find the number here here we have 46000 here close to 5000 so let us take 8 here so 4, 8, 8, 8. We should also multiply by 8. These two numbers should be same. So 8 into 8, 64. 4, 6. 8 into 8, 64 plus 6, 70. So 0, 7. 8 into 8, 64 plus 7, 71. So 1, 7. 8, 4, 32 plus 7, 39. So this is far from this. Let us take 9 so 4 8 8 9 into 9 9 into 9 81 so 1 8 9 8 72 plus 8 80 so 0 8 9 8 72 plus 8 80 so 0 8 9 4 36 plus 8 44 Yes, man, we cannot take 10, so we take this number itself is for 9. So you take 9 here, 9 here, and here is double 4, double 0, 1. So now you subtract and it goes on. It is enough if we take up to 3 decimal places and the square root of 6 is this number that is 2.449 and it goes on so this is our answer am i clear